Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be going through the TWAB. Uh, not going to go through anything too crazy. We're just going to look at the weapons that are getting reintroduced because we are getting weapons that are getting reintroduced, thankfully. That's pretty cool. Uh, however you, however way you feel about reintroduction of weapons is the way you feel. I personally welcome it just because like something else to grind for, even though like we've already had these weapons. Would I be happy if we got newer weapons? Obviously, but I mean, at this point, I'll take whatever I can fucking get. So before I get started, just know that uh, I just ended my stream not too long ago. I am streaming on YouTube, so hit the bell notification if you want to see my streams. Uh, we talk about a lot of things. If you guys see right down at the bottom, we played State of Decay 2, which I will be making in video format for my channel. So I would love to see you there. But other than that, let's get into the video. So shoot for the moon. Back in January, we announced that four weapons from the Dreaming City and four weapons from the moon were being reissued with new perk pools. But I had not brought them all back yet in our next update currently scheduled for uh, the 6th of next month. We will be reissuing the remaining Moon and Dreaming City weapons with new perks. All of these weapons will drop from their original sources on their respective destination. Here's, a full, here's the full list of weapons along with an example of new perks they can each roll with. So these are not even like, oh, this is the only one. There's more to it. Okay. So obviously we're getting the moon weapons. I am happy about this because I love the moon weapons. I think they're really cool aesthetically. Not only that, like the shotgun is one of my favorite shotguns in the game. It rolls with one, two punch, at least beef back then it did. So hopefully it does again, because that's going to be a weapon that I'm going to be trying to go for, uh, because I don't have a weapon that has one, two punch on my primary slot. So I'm excited for this one. Other than that, I'm maybe, oh, there's another one. So let's get through it. Loud Lullaby, which is the hand cannon, it get, is getting tunnel vision, which is pretty cool. One small step is getting trench barrel, which is really cool. Tranquility, which is a sniper rifle, is getting frenzy, which is fire. Arc logic, which is the assault rifle or auto rifle, whatever you want to say, is getting heating up, which is, I mean, uh, we'll see. Dream Breaker is getting cornered, which I'm just assuming that is the fusion rifle. Every waking moment, I don't remember. Wait, no, that one is love and death. Love and death is that one. <sighs> Every waking moment, which one is that one? Um, obvious. Oh, it might be the. It doesn't matter. Uh. Every waking moment is getting killing wind, which I'm pretty sure is the SMG. Love and death is the grenade launcher we just saw, which is chain reaction. A fine memorial is getting adrenaline junkie and night terrors is getting one for all. So I remember a few of these. I just don't remember like these two. And then every waking moment, it, every waking moment might be the SMG if I remember correctly, but these two are escape me with one. I think night terror might be the sword. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I don't remember to, quite, to be quite honest. And then Dreaming City weapons, the last ones, which are getting Tiger Spite is getting Frenzy, which is really cool. Twilight Oath is getting Vorpal weapon, which is really interesting. And then Abide the Return is getting Thresh, which I don't really care to be quite honest. We know that several of these weapons have been popular in the past. Looking at you, Twilight Oath, and we hope you enjoy getting fresh drops. If you are a newer player who doesn't have any of these weapons, happy hunting. I feel really bad for... Oh, who is it? I think it was uh fallout who was who was trying to get a twilight oath uh so it's unfortunate because he's gonna probably go through trying to get farm one even though he never got one i ended up getting it it was really cool unfortunately you know sunsetting happened so i just erased it but i'm, I'm excited the twilight oath is coming back i do like that sniper rifle um one small step is definitely on my radar now i love this shotgun it's one of my favorite shotguns and tranquility for sure is going to be on my radar i love tranquility so i'm really excited for the moon weapons uh specifically because like arc logic i don't think we have an arc auto rifle if i remember correctly at least off the top of my head i can't remember so that's cool that we're getting that but other than that honestly guys let me know what you guys think uh are you guys excited for the renewal of weapons i know a lot of people are going to be like i hate it and i love it which is super fair because like i want new stuff but at the same time i do think that expansions should still hold value so i do think like the weapons from from expansions should still hold value like i i know i said that twice but like it's it's heartbreaking to see an expansion just become worthless so for me i like this but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below uh, I'm 
streaming a lot more guys unfortunately my arm still kind of hurts so i can't stream as much but i am trying to stream every day again or at least whenever i can so if you guys are ever in ever in the mood to watch me stream i just hit the bell notification subscribe like comment everything it all really does help um i have a lot of things planned for the channel so i will see you guys later